strutted. He put on a show for us this morning. Well, uh, I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Hunting the Seasons. We have a lot to come. I mean, we got a lot of trips planned this year. And, uh, you know, just hope you stick in there with us. We've got some pretty cool stuff we're working on, you know, different ideas, whatnot. You know, we're just going to try to bring the best footage we can bring to you, you know, try to teach you, try to show you how we're doing everything, how you can do it, you know, just different tips, stuff like that. You know, we got some different views, like, overhead views of decoy spreads like for waterfowl hunting and stuff like that see what those birds are seeing when they're coming in you know if we're sticking out big time or whatever if you see birds flaring you'll know you know we'll show you that overhead view and you'll be able to understand well yeah look how much you're sticking out you know in the wide open so you know i've been hunting all my life and i'm just just out of high school we went to nebraska last year and we just couldn't get enough of it so we're gonna pack our bags up and head out west and do some travel work making a big, you know, life-changing move here in about a month, so I'm leaving a full-time job here, and this is something I've wanted for a long time. I actually grew up in a non-hunting family. You know, I never had anyone to teach me these things. I watched videos, and that's how I learned how to hunt, because I never had a mentor or someone to look up to. I mean, we definitely got a lot to learn. We got a long ways to go, but in filming in just one year, I think we've learned so much. Like, we've had a couple just silly, stupid mistakes that you know, I, I can't believe it happened, honestly. The biggest one I can remember is deer hunting. I was self-filming myself the whole season, pretty much, and uh, I've been hunting this one buck pretty hard, and I've been seeing him quite regularly. I mean, I was seeing him, when gun season started, I saw him three days in a row, same spot. So I was getting up extra early, getting in there at the climber, getting in there in his bedroom, and I was for sure that it, that deer was gonna be in there the next couple of days, because he must have had a hot doe in there or something. Two, two minutes after legal shooting light, which, really is not camera light, but I did everything I could to try to make it so you could see everything. Once I had in my mind, I saw the rack and saw the width of it, I instantly thought, it's, it's him. It's the buck I'm after, shocker. Come to find out, I'm trying to line everything up, get the camera you know, zoomed in on him, trying to get right hole where I can get him, get the shot. Next thing you know, I shoot this deer and I hear it just whack, and I'm, I drilled it. Well, come to find out it wasn't the buck I was after, and uh, little things like that when you're filming yourself, and that's the things that can happen. I mean, this is a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. We got a lot ahead of us. I mean, we're planning, the, I mean, we're planning to do it. This is what we want to do. Uh, turkey hunting, we had a stupid mistake there that, I mean, I'll never forget that. That was just horrible. We probably an hour we sitting there. These birds just come running in, and right as they got to the decoys, did a little, you know, strutting around just a little bit, memory card ran out of memory. So, you know, that's, things like that just gets to you. That's a double turkey kill. We don't have the film to share with you guys, so. You know, and it's, it's things like that that make us become a better unit to bring the footage to you. We're just glad that that happened then and not now, and we can learn from our mistakes, and just bring the best footage possible to you. What we've learned from these mistakes is that you just have to have a dedicated cameraman. If not, if someone's trying to hunt and film, you have all right footage, but it's just not the best. So we decided that we're always just gonna have one guy that's focused on getting the footage and just dedicated to just that for every hunt. We're trying to uh, expand our line of gear and apparel. We, we created our logo from scratch. We got, we got hats, shirts. Uh, license plates, we got wristbands, so if you'd like to buy something just send us a message on Facebook and also maybe give us a like on our page. We'll try and get back to you as much as we can. You know, we just hope that, you know, we're going to learn stuff from this whole experience and we know you will. So we hope we all learn together and grow together and uh, hope you enjoy what we're trying to do. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, we just wanted you to get to know us a little better. We know it was kind of cut and dry, but just thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be a late season Indiana goose hunt from last year. And we gotta go hit the field right now. We're actually going to do some goose hunting right now, so just stick with us.